Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are doing the GCP follow along. So the idea here is that we are going to uh, just launch a bunch of cloud uh, services. Uh, it's not going to be super challenging, but the idea is just to kind of help cement the uh, the knowledge of what we've learned in the lecture content. They don't even recommend uh, it necessary uh, for the exam, but uh, I like to do it, and I think that you'll appreciate doing it too. So once you've created your GCP account, you should have an organization and a default project. Uh, and so one of the first things I want to show you how to do is to set up a resource hierarchy because the idea is you have your cloud workloads below which run in projects and you can organize them into folders uh, and uh, this is all tied to your organization and this is a little bit tricky and it does show up in the exam so it's important to uh, know how to do this uh, and so that's the first thing I really want to show you. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and make our way over to IAM because that's how we do it. And it's not going to work, and I'm going to show you why, and then we're going to, I'm going to show you how to get permissions, okay? So we'll go to IAM, and on the left-hand side, if you expand it, down below, there's one that says Manage Resources. Now, you could also go up here and type in Manage Resources, uh, because sometimes it's really hard to find things in GCP, so you just have to kind of uh, work those two ways. But the idea is I have a bunch of projects in here, and I have my organization, and I want to go ahead and create a folder. And so I might have a folder coming back over to our structure here, we might want to have um, a folder like applications and then production. So if I try application here, and my organization selected, notice that I have this little caution sign that says you do not have the required permissions. Resource manager .folders create permission to create folders in this location. So you go, okay, well, how do I get permissions? I would think that if I'm the owner, I'd have permissions to everything, but that's not the case. So if we make our way back to IAM, all right, we go all the way back here. Uh, and uh, we go, we're under uh, the top one here, which is for the users. And we see I have the owner role. If you look above the documentation, it's going to say, go ahead and add project or admin folder. Okay, so you go admin folder or project folder, and nothing's going to appear. And the reason why is that you can apply permissions or roles at the uh, project level and also the organization level. And because of that, the, the roles that are available are different. So you're never going to find it at the project level here. And so what you got to do is go to your organization. All right, the way you know that you're in your org right now is that it has this little... Um, uh, building and notice now it's just listing uh, people at the organizational level. And so what I can do here is go ahead and edit the member. And I'm going to add a role. I'm just going to type in folder. Okay. And so now we have folder admin. And that's going to give me full access, full control to create uh, what I wanted to do there, which was folders. Now, if we go to the left hand side here and go to manage resources, we should have an easier time creating folders now. And so we'll go ahead here and call this application. Okay, we'll hit create and give it a moment to create. And uh, what we'll need to do is go ahead and refresh to see that new folder and there it is. So now that we have that folder, uh, let's go ahead and create a folder within that folder. So I think, uh, yeah, if we go ahead and hit create folder here uh, and we'll choose our organizational structure. Whoops. <laughs> Uh, so, sorry, so I got to go and choose the org and then now what we can do is choose the folder. So I want application here and following our guide here, we're going to go with, uh, let's say development. Because we're not serious about it, running any kind of production workloads today. We'll go ahead and create that. Okay, we'll go ahead and hit refresh down below and now you can see we have application development. So let's say we want to move um, or let's say let's, we want to create a new project that's going to sit uh, in here for our development workload. And so below, down below, uh, you might want to uh, specify the names. But what I'm going to do is create a new one in here. And I'll say create project. And this is just going to be uh, my app. Uh, and we will choose its location. OK, we'll hit create. And it takes it doesn't take that much time for these to build. So uh, if we give this a hard refresh, there's a refresh button up here. We should now see our uh, our my app. So if we go back to GCP up the top here, I should be able to switch over to my app. All right. And so now what we'll do is go ahead and create stuff there. But that's what I just wanted to show you was the fact that you had that uh, folders and project structure and how easy it was to create in some of those uh, headaches there. Um, I can't remember. I, you probably can apply permissions at the folder level. Let's just go take a look. 
I'm not running crazy workloads in um, GCC, so I don't always know, but uh, what we'll do is go back to the resource manager, manage resources here. And I think you can, yeah, I'm not sure, but it's not really in the scope of this uh, certification, but the idea is we have our project set up and I will make my way back to that. And now we'll start launching some resources, okay?